Okay, this is just a model I made, so it's pretty rough here. Anyway, this is supposed to represent the, um, I ordered some 4-inch um, vacuum hose. And it's, uh, it's heavy duty and it's clear. And so I just took this glue gun, glue sticks, and uh, just to kind of simulate how it looks. But it's, but anyway, you just, here's the idea. Coming from the cage, you want to give your guinea pig a chance to drill down in some um, tunnels. So instead of just having a little, you know, 16 inch tunnel in your, in your cage, why not? get 20 feet and let them have some fun and actually live a little bit so here's what you do you come out this is where you plug it into your main um, living quarters their main playground area where they eat and stuff and then all you do is you set a big box this is just a tiny one for a model but you just take a great big cardboard box and you take the hose and you cut some holes in it and you can make you can't make it too steep of an incline because they'll get hurt so you, what you got to do is just make it real gradual so there will actually be there'll be like a corkscrew and, and then it goes down inside the box and they're safe in there you know you can put down some litter box stuff and then have a little hideaway for them put some food in there and they might actually come go down there and check it out but um there's different stuff you could do you could make this put a top on this and put windows in it and stuff but it's kind of cool because it goes in and out and around um I needed a way to support the hose to keep them safe. You can't just, like I said, you just can't have a free fall. Those guinea pigs will get hurt, wound up with uh, spinal injuries. So anyway, there's my idea to um, expand your cage. Kind of like a habit trail for hamsters they used to have. Well, your hamsters, you could build tunnels and stuff for your hamsters. But anyways, thanks for watching.